Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day over there. Today we have a brand new PowerPoint game for you guys. This is called Chippendale Rescue Ranger. You can grab this free template by clicking on the description box below this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. I would like to also say a big huge thank you to all of the viewers subscribers and contributors without you guys this wouldn't be possible and if you want to help this channel even further you can like share and comment i hope you guys enjoy this powerpoint game i'll walk you through it and i'll show you how to um, play this powerpoint game and if you have any uh, questions, concerns, or any ideas about this PowerPoint game or any other PowerPoint games on my channel, you can write it in the comment section below and I'll definitely take a look at that. So let's start this game by hitting the play button. Mine is located uh, here, down here. So let's click on the uh, play button and see what that looks like. All right, so here is the uh, main slide. We have the start game button here, the instruction button below it, and the support button below the instruction if you guys want to support more projects like this. So let's go over some of the rules and how to play. So let's click on the instruction button here, and uh, I'll explain a little bit on how to use this uh, PowerPoint game. All right, so let's click on the instruction here. All right, how to play. Uh, first, you have to click on the start button on the computer. So this button right here, click on the button on the computer to see the mission briefing. And if you accept the mission, just choose yes. And if you um, want to change mission, just click no. If you click yes, it will take you to the map and you'll see files at the bottom, uh, bottom of the slide. Uh, note, there are certain buildings and files that will be unlocked once a mission is completed. So you, uh, other buildings and files will be locked until you finish a mission. And it will look like this once you unlock it. So click on the file again to close it out and you'll get the Rescue Ranger mark on it, signifying that it's completed. To move your airship, just click on the location marker when it appears on the map. And once the airship stops, Click on it to start your mission. So the students must answer three questions to get three magnifying glass. And once they get three magnifying glasses, um, you can click on it and that will take you to a mini game where they can play the mini game. If you win the mini game, you will be given a clue for your next mission. Again, you can use this template however way you want, and you can add whatever English you want. Um, you don't have to use it exactly how I use it in this demonstration. It's really up to you, so just get really creative and uh, use it to match your own lesson. All right, awesome. Let's click Go Back here. And now we can start the game and see what it looks like by clicking the Start Game button here. And this will take us to our um, Rescue Ranger headquarter. And now that we're here, just find the start button on the computer here and just click on that to start your mission briefing. And here we have mission one, find the lost puppy. Do you accept? And if you accept, just click yes. So let's click here. Okay, and now go. Chip and Dale will pop up and just click on them to go to the map. All right, now we're here at the map and you can click on uh, some of the buildings here to see what it looks like. So we can interact with anything that's on the map here. Um, however, there are some buildings that are locked 
until you complete the mission. And we have the files down here, file one, so click on that. And that will bring up the first marker here. So the warehouse. To move the airship, just click on the uh, marker here. And once the airship stops, just click on the airship to start the game. And now we're here at the QA slide. So first you have to click on chip to get the question. So this is question one. You can edit the question and add your own picture here. And then click on Dale to get the answer. At the bottom here, we have on the right and on the left, we have zipper. If they get it right, just click on the right side here. And they'll get a magnifying glass. You get to get three to play the mini game. So click on Dale here again. And let's see, let's click on uh, zipper here again on the right side. And right, we need one more. And what happens if they click uh, the answer wrong? You click on the left side here. Oh no! And you won't get any magnifying glasses. So you have to do it again. That was question three, so we have to go back to question three. So they can try again until uh, you get back to question three here. So they can try one more time. All right, now uh, let's say if they got it correct this time. Just click on the right side here. And now if you move your mouse over the magnifying glass, you can see that uh, you can go to the next slide now. Just, just click on that. And now we're at a, a mini game here. <clears throat> you can ask the students questions and then they can choose a number here, one, two, or three. And on the right side, we have the enemy's life bar here. So you have four chances to uh, defeat the enemy. However, if you miss four times, the enemy will, um, will win and you have to start over again. So let's click on one here. All right, and let's try number three this time. That's a miss. All right, so you only have three more chances. Let's try two this time. Oh no. Now you only have uh, two more chances, so you gotta be careful now. All right, let's try it again. So if the students, um, are unable to uh, pass this mini game. You can try again, and uh, they can try to beat this stage before uh, they move on to the next one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here the mission is uh, mission failed. So you can hit the try again button here to try it again, and this time we can try to beat the robot dog. So let's try number one this time. And let's try number one again. So it's very random. There's like a uh, an invisible button here, and it's uh, it's moving around. So it's it's very random. So you have to just try different uh, buttons here. If you zoom out of this slide and you read the teacher's note, you will the, there's a little clue at the bottom that'll give you a hint on which button not to press so you can read that later. So the mission is success and here is our clue, Burger, Burger House. This is where we can go find uh, the lost puppy. So let's return to the map by clicking here and let's go find the burger shop here on the map. And let's see, where's the burger shop, burger shop. Here it is, so click on that. And see, there's the little lost puppy right there and he's running away and he ran into the firehouse here. So our next uh, location is the fire station. So click on the little uh, marker here and it'll move the airship. And once it stops, click on the airship here. All right, again, click on chip first and then click on Dale for the answer. And we have to get three correct answer in order for us to play the mini game. Click on uh, chip here, and then click on Dell. Yes. And we just need one ma one more magnifying glass. Yes. And now we can click on up here on the upper right corner to play the mini game. All right, the robot dog is back. Now let's try to defeat him. So we have four chances to defeat him. So let's choose. Uh, oops, that was a bad one. All right. Hopefully we can uh, be beat this stage. All right. It's not looking good for us, guys. All right. Let's try number three again. All right. It seems to uh, we seem to got it now. Let's try three again. 
And hopefully uh, it'll be okay. Let's try two this time. Right, two is working. And let's try number one here. And oops. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need one more. We just need one more. One more. One more. Let's try number two here. All right. Mission success. We have rest. We have found the lost puppy. So hit mission complete here. Well done. And you found the lost puppy. Thank you, Gadget. And let's, re let's return to headquarters by clicking here. And now we're back at the Rescue Ranger headquarters. And we can see, uh, we can start the next mission by clicking the start button here. Mission 2 briefing. We have to stop Professor Norton. Yes or no. So if you accept, just click yes here. Okay, and then click go. on Chip and Dale to go to the map. All right, now we click on file one to close it out. And this will unlock other things on the map, including file, the next file. So right now you can't click on anything unless you close it out here. Level and now we can move our mouse over the file and you can see that it's unlocked. Click on it. Oh, Professor Norton. Now we click on the bank marker here to move the airship. All right, once the airship stops, let's click on it. Again, you can edit the Q&A to match your lesson. It's really up to you. Um, whatever you're, you're teaching, you can add it in here. And you don't have to use this PowerPoint game the way I'm showing you how to do it. It's really up to you. But the way it's set up, it's you have to kind of follow the adventure, of course. But you can skip some of the uh, adventure that's on the map by saying no and um, clicking on the mission yourself and trying to unlock other things on the map. All right, so we're here. We have successfully answered everything and now we're on to the next game. Oh no! It's Professor Norton. All right, so this one is a puzzle game and once you complete the puzzle, you click on chip here to unlock the vault and you have your timer here 60 seconds and once the timer runs out the bomb goes off and you have to try again uh, let's click here to rotate our puzzle and if you guys want to learn how to make this rotating puzzle you can watch uh, my uh, previous video on how to do this and I'll also leave a link in the description box so that you can uh, check it out and see how you can make this puzzle as well. So we can't click on chip yet until we complete this puzzle. Let's uh, clear this out. All right, I think we can click on him now. All right, so we have successfully, um, we have success successfully uh, finished that mission. All right, so now, our next clue is the blue warehouse here. So click on that. And let's see if Norton, Professor Norton is hiding in there. All right, I think we found his lab, his secret lab here. So let's uh, click on Chippendale here. And we'll have to do it three times here. Again, on the mini game, you can ask your students questions. Um, I usually do it without having to uh, uh, to use the Q the QA and picture. I usually ask my students directly and um, uh, they usually can do it pretty well. All right, so let's see, we missed one here. So let's uh, go back here to question three. We need to complete it. All right, now we can go and fight or stop Professor Norton. So let's click here. All right, now we're in his lab. So we have to be really quiet here. We have three buttons and here is his life up here. So we have to try to get it uh, four times here. So let's try uh, this one here. All right, this one is successful. Ooh, watch funny. out. Try this one. Oops. We got zapped. All right, let's try it. number three. Oops, zapped again. Gotta be careful now. Let's try, th uh, let's try this one right here. All right, two more. We just need two more, two more, two more. Uh, 
just one more now. Oops, zapped. Uh oh. Gotta be very careful now. Uh, Alright, we got him. Alright, mission success. We got his ray gun here. Let's click on the mission complete button down here. And you'll get like a welcome slide with Bridget here and it's got Professor Norton's ray gun. So return to headquarter by clicking here. Alright, now you can click the start button on the computer again to see the mission briefing. So we've got mission three briefing rescue Goldie from Fat Cat. Alright, so we'll just click on yes to accept the, okay, uh, the mission here and click on Chippendale to go to the map. And now we'll click on file 2 to unlock other things on the map here. Level complete. Now, the fi now file 3 is unlocked, click on that and we have our next uh, mission here. So click on the marker here. Let's go to the construction site. Got a rescue Goldie. Let's click on the blimp here, the airship here. All right. And again, we have to get three correct answers in order to play the mini game. So I think you guys kind of get the idea here. Yes. All right, so now let's click on the magnifying glass. Watch out, it's Robot Cat. If you ever watch Rescue Ranger, there's this uh, episode with Robot Cat on it. Cat Cat reprogrammed him to do his uh, dirty work and kidnap Goldie the goldfish. Oops! Let's see, let's click on number one. Oops, that's not good. Alright, let's click on two here. There we go. We just need one more, one more, one more. Uh oh. I don't know if we can make it, guys. We did it. Yes. All right, mission success. And let's see, our clue is this um, factory here. Let's click return to map. And where's the factory? Do you see the factory here on the map? There it is. So click on that to move the airship. And once it stops, just click on the airship again. And we have we found Fat Cat's hideout. So we gotta stop him by answering the question. If you, if you guys enjoy this PowerPoint game and you want to see part two, don't hesitate to write it in the comment section below and I'll uh, definitely take a look at that and who knows, maybe part two will come soon. So we're, here we are with Fat Cat. We got to destroy him and rescue Goldie. So let's click on one of the buttons here. Let's try number one. Oops, that's not good. Uh oh, watch out. All right, let's try another one. Oh no! Alright, we're almost there guys. We just need one more. Let's try number three. Good luck! Yes! yes. Alright, mission success. We rescued Goldie. So let's hit mission complete here and go back to uh, headquarter. We rescued Goldie. So hit here, return to headquarter. And we can get to the, the final mission. So click start here on the computer. Alright, we gotta investigate the sewers. Yes or no? Let's check it out. Let's go, guys. Alright, let's click on file 3 here to close it out. Mission complete. And now click on 4 here. Alright, the sewer. So click on the marker here to move the airship. Alright, we gotta stop sewer nose. So click on the airship again and again. Uh, if the students 
can answer the question correct three times, uh, they'll get three magnifying glass. And once they get the three magnifying glass, click on the, the top right corner of the slide, and that will take you to the mini game. Oh no! Sewer Nose has captured us. So let's see. Uh, let's try clicking on one of the numbers here. And hopefully we can do it in one go here. So let's click on one. Yes. And let's try here. Maybe we'll try number uh, two. Yep. And let's try number three. Oh no! Let's go back to number. Uh, let's try. All right, let's try this again here. All right, we just need one more, guys. One more. All right, I think we got it. Awesome. All right, looks like our next clue is the cinema. We got to go to the map so click return to map and find cinema cinema here click on that let's go stop sewer nose click on the airship here and uh, here is the QA slide yes. all right all right let's go Final stage with Sewer Nose. Let's click here. Three. Again, uh, you can use uh, this slide. Uh, you can ask your student some free questions if you want, um, or you can use however way you want. I usually ask my students without the, the, uh, the QA and uh, picture hints. I usually just ask them directly. And I uh, let them choose um, a number here. All right. Yes. We need one more, guys. One more. Uh, we're out. All right. Try again. Mission fail. So let's try it again. Hope you guys are enjoying my PowerPoint games. Again, you can grab this free template below this video by clicking on the description box. Um, I'll include links to the game and also the, uh, the font. So make sure to install the font before you uh, play this game so that your game looks like the demonstration video uh, that you're watching here. And if you guys have any uh, ideas or game suggestions, please don't hesitate to write it in the comment section below. We did it, guys. Mission complete. Well done. You got sewer nose puppets. All right. All right, guys. I hope you enjoy this Rescue Ranger PowerPoint game. And if you do, don't forget to like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. And if you're new to this channel and you would like to get more PowerPoint games like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. And if you guys want to help this channel even further, you can click on the cup, coffee cup here and support the channel uh, through the link uh, there as well. Again, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my video today. I want to wish you the best of luck in your classes.